Six o'clock, so we'll call the meeting to order. I'd like to remind everyone of the City of Perry staff core values, it's a strong work ethic, problem solving, community oriented, shows professionalism and integrity, is a team player, tangible and good steward. Roll call, please. Shelley? Yes. Smaller? Yes. Wally? Yes. Shot? I think so. Yes. Okay, great. Now we need approval of the meeting agenda. Be it. Second. Okay, any other discussion? Roll call, please. Fine. Yes. Shelley? Yes. Mahler? Yes. Wally? Yes. Shop? Absolutely. Okay, next up is the consent agenda. Um, on that is the minutes of the June 28th meeting. There are 11 contract service payments to Bolton Bank and one to impact 7G for a total of $160,352.64. Claims register and financials of $2,462,613.77. And three licenses and permits, one for Perry Hospitality Inc. at Hotel Petit, one for Perry Hospitality Inc. at La Poste. And the Perry Chamber of Commerce is requesting a five-day special class C retail alcohol license for the Second Street Bach Party on July 19th, 2024. So could I have a motion, please? I move that we pass the consent agenda. I'll second. Any other discussion? Okay. Roll call. Walling? Yes. Smaller? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Shot? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sven, you're up. All right. So probably first and most importantly, on Susie's behalf, want to give an update on the air conditioning. Um, the parts have been ordered and will be here in August to get that fixed. Um, did receive a request from Susie to expedite this meeting because uh, it is not the temperature of a meat locker. There you go. I, we can find some papers there. So just a little update on that. Um, but hopefully soon we will have working air conditioning back in here. So probably depending on the weather and what the temperature is at our next meeting, first meeting in August, uh, maybe we'll relocate. Maybe, maybe we'll see. So just a heads up on that. Uh, reminder. We uh, hired a, how, or a housing and development manager. Her name is Molly, and she starts tomorrow morning. So I'm very excited about that. I think everybody's excited about that so that they get more of me. But um, so, yeah. And then um, I think it was on the news already, but uh, our team of AmeriCorps members showed up Friday. We gave them kind of a overview of the community and kind of toured some of the projects. Today, there was their first day working in the Iowa humidity. So um, they got broken in well, but uh, they were down at Patty Park working on the indoor batting facility right next to the dog park in the senior league field. So um, I think they have most of the first wall up, so they're moving right along. So that's exciting to see. Um, we did set up a meal train for them for, so everybody can sign up to provide a meal, um, whether that's home cooked or just kind of a tab at a local restaurant um, for Wednesday and Sunday evenings. So um, we'll be pushing that out as well. Um, Chris is working on a draft of a press release, but there is a web page on the website under resident info right at the top. Um, can learn about each of them and kind of some of the projects they'll be working on, but um, excited to have them on board and have eight sets of extra hands to help out with all sorts of different projects this summer. So um, really grateful to have them on board and for all their work. So eventually at some point we'll have them come to a city council meeting so you can meet them in person and uh, let them get a little taste of local government at work at a council meeting. So um, but more on that, if you see them out and about, tell them, say hi to them and tell them thanks for coming to Perry. Um, Are they wearing special t-shirts? Uh, 
from what I've seen, I think they're all wearing uh, gray shirts with the AmeriCorps logo and uh, khaki work pants. So you should be visible. But yeah, great group of people um, from all over the country coming to uh, just spend a few months working in Perry. So um, excited to have them on board. So we'll get that press release out and I'll email it out or Chris will email it out with some specifics and how you can help out. So what is their out date? Um, I believe September 5th or 6th. It's a Friday. So yeah, they're, they're here for five days. Or... Yep. About 40 hours a week, kind of give or take. Uh, John did show them mercy today and let them off uh, at about one o'clock. So, um, but judging from the sweat, of all of their shirts they had earned that so um hopefully we get away from some of this heat and uh they only have the humidity to worry about so no yeah. shortage of housing or anything like that nope we were able to uh rent a house um and put them up so very i think i'm going for getting the gold star on the nicest housing that they have had so um, heard all sorts of horror stories of um, previous places they've stayed with cockroaches and spiders. And then there's another team somewhere else that's in tents on some athletic fields in a park somewhere. So um, they've got it pretty good. So with air conditioning, with air conditioning. So, <laughs> yep. yeah, but um. That's most of what I have. We have quite a few pay requests, so we can get into some projects a little deeper later on. Great. Okay. So the only thing I wanted to bring up was um, I thought the 4th of July festivities went well. I'm hoping Lindsay will give us a little update when during the open forum. Um, but I wanted to thank her and everyone else who was responsible for setting all the activities up because it was a lot of fun. and. and had a good time. The parade was really, really good. So, <laughs> our master, master, master parade liner upper. Yeah. Misty. Yes. So, okay. Any council comments? Yeah. And a reminder of the block party on Friday night. So, should be fun tonight. So, try to attend if you're available. So, Okay, we'll have an open forum. Um, speakers will be asked to step up the microphone, state your name and address for the record, and you'll be given three minutes to speak. Any open council requests? I can speak for just a moment. Uh, Lindsay with the Perry Chamber wasn't really planning on it, but I guess I was put on the spot. Thanks, Dirk. Um, okay. Thank you for the comments on the fourth. Really successful overall. I would say um, with some volunteer help, of course, with the lineup, um, everything went smoothly with the parks. So big thanks to the city before and after with the parks team there to keep everything smooth. Um, and it was probably the biggest crowd that I've seen probably due to the weather being so nice in comparison to blazing hot in the past. So uh, nice to see a nice turnout and then probably the biggest crowd I've seen for the music and fireworks actually in the park um, for the last six years that I've been here. So thanks to everyone that came out for that in support of the fireworks drive. And we're looking forward to the street dance this Friday. So it is 21 plus uh, $5 entry with their beer garden. Thank you for approving that um, license and um, just another fundraiser for the chamber to help support our programming throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks, Lindsay. Lindsay. Any other open forum requests? Uh, hey, Dirk, this is Josh. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that this Saturday from 9 to noon is the tire drop-off event, and that'll take place out at the garbage department. And then the household waste um, collection is from 9 to noon at the police department, fire department parking lot. And then new this year, there's also a gas can exchange event, which is a, it's, it's a really special event where uh, you can bring an emptied uh, plastic gas can and exchange that for a new properly uh, ventilated gas can and that's from 9 to 11 or until they run out so i just wanted to add that and i think there's 50 gas cans is that right josh yes correct yep nice 
Great. Okay. Thank you for that. Anyone else? Okay, we'll move on to old business. Um, first, item A is approval of pay application number 37 for the wastewater treatment facility and improvements. It's pay application number 37, $216,701.41 to Woodruff Construction. Um, they're up to 98.4% complete, rah, rah, rah. And um, everything's been reviewed and signed off by the engineer and it's recommended for approval. So, can I motion, please? I make a oh, I make a motion we approve pay application number 37 for wastewater treatment facility improvements. I'll second that. Okay. Discussion? I can comment a little bit if you want, uh, Sven. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time out there lately. It's the plants, everything's looking great. Um, they just put in a new bar screen last week, and that's everything that comes into the plant passes through that. The old one was uh, uh, out of its out of its working age. So uh, getting that done, a lot of smaller stuff. That's what's basically left. You know, some electrical, more stuff for Jetco, which is on the uh, communication side. Uh, Minburn Communications did run fiber optics there. We're waiting until we uh, have a good opportunity to uh, convert everything over to Minburn. And uh, just a lot of lot of smaller things. Uh, the grass is starting to grow. They do have, I think they got 128 trees out there that they're having to water. So uh, they're getting towards the end of the of the watering requirement time. So um, things are just going really well. And I think they're planning on an open house in October, um, which would be a, a wonderful event. And I, I did talk to the guys out there. And if anybody would like to go out there, Ahead of time, once the plant gets, uh, everybody gets moved out, that would be much more than uh, welcome to come out there and have a tour. Joe, I took Joe out for a tour uh, several several months back, but uh, anyone that wants to do that can, can sure do that. So just kind of the finishing touches is going on, so. Josh, did uh, the 128 trees, did that come from the tree farm you all have out there? Uh, no, that was part of the project. Um, I, I don't, think John has that many of, of, of the species that they put in, but that was all included uh, in the overall contract. Okay. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Fowler. Yes. Yes. Shelley. Yes. Shot. Yes. Okay, item B, approval of pay application number two for the 2024 HMA street repairs. It's the amount of $197,351.47 to Des Moines Asphalt and Paving, and it puts them at 81.7% complete. It has been reviewed and signed off by the engineers and recommended for approval. Motion, please. I make a motion we approve the pay application number two for the 2024 HMA street repairs. A second. Okay. Discussion. The street <clears throat> had a lot of comment from people talking about the street, and I went over there. Uh, it is 12th Street as it uh, turns into the 141, right west east of the Dallas County Hospital. Is that a street? It says it says 12th Street. Is that a street part of the reconditioning? On the you're saying on the east side of the hospital. We had discussion about that recently. It's wonky. Yes. There's some pretty good potholes in Well, there. ownership I is wonky. No longer is I can I can comment on that if you want to spend yeah. a little bit. Um, so if you take that road and basically draw a line down the middle, the west side um was actually owned by Dallas County Hospital um during their their time, but the city took that back over. The east side of the road is owned by the owner of the business on that side of the road. So it's half owned by the city, half owned by the private entity. And we had to, we had to do a lot of, I think Liz and Susie and Dewey had to do a lot of checking in on stuff. So um, that was one, I think Matt, that we looked at doing an overlay on, but it's more to the point of like a reconstruction or a crack and seed in the future, so. So it's something that the hospital and the mental institution got to deal with, or is that? Uh, so half city yeah. and then half, I, and I believe Stuckenholt still owns the other half. So that'd be a discussion with 
Mr. Stuckenholtz. We were talking about this. Um, the email that Josh sent to the hospital said that um, 12th Street is not owned by the city and is half owned by Dallas County Hospital Board of Trustees and half owned by Terry Building Inc. Was that the last correspondence that we figured out? Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I'm recalling. Yeah. So. There's yep. a lot of stuff sent back and forth between yeah. the hospital CEO. Yep. So I apologize that I must have been wrong in my state. I thought it was the other way. I apologize. So is it still a street? Is that still no. 12th Street? It has a sign. It would be a private. 12th Street. Private 12th Street. Yep. Thank you. So I think for the most part, contractors is done with the majority of what's in town. We've got a little bit to come back and do on Warford Street. They also have work they have to come do for the entrance road to the airport. We've asked them to wait to do that until we're done moving dirt from the Iowa Street project to the airport so they don't beat up new pavement. Uh, so likely sometime here in probably early August, they'll be back into town to finish what's outstanding on this. Um, we do have one change order. We did come across the uh, old manhole that was pretty well gone. <laughs> and so we had to dig up an intersection and get a repair made. That's the, the change order that's on the next item. Okay. Okay. Other discussion? Roll call. Line? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Mahler? Yes. Mahler. Yes. Shot? Yes. Okay. Next up is item C. It's approval of change order number two for the 2024 HMA street repairs in amount of $7,611.11. Um, and as just discussed, for the manhole at 9th Street in Warford. So I make a motion we approve change order number two for the 2024 HMA street repair. I'll well, second that. Need any more discussion? Roll call. Walling? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Smaller? Yes. Yes. Okay, item D, approval of pay application number two for the Willis Avenue overlay in the amount of $367,206.59 to Des Moines Asphalt and Paving. And that puts that project at approximately 92% complete. Um, it's been reviewed and signed off and recommended for approval by the engineers. That motion, please. Make a motion we approve pay application number two for Willis Avenue overlay. Second that. Okay. Discussion? Same contractor uh, is able to kind of balance our time between the projects. This one is virtually finished. Uh, there is a change order item behind us. We did come across some area where the cores we took in the pavement kind of had a spot between them where there was no road left underneath. So we had to do some uh, additional coring out and full depth sections. Uh, that's what the change order is that's following us. So uh, outside of that, we're ready to take those projects and start through the DOT audit process and then we can close out. For the discussion, roll call, please. Fowler? Yes. Yes. Shelley? Yes. Shot? Yes. Slime? Yes. Okay, next is change your item E, change order number two for the Willis Avenue overlay, amount of $6,063.74 for the full depth patch that was just described. So. Could I have a motion, please? Make a motion to approve change order number two for the Willis Avenue overlay. A second. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call. Klein? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Mahler? Yes. Mahler? Yes. Shot? Yes. Okay, item F, approval of pay application number one for the AWAS system. It's in the amount of $50,929.50 to Kimray Electric. Um, and it's been uh, signed off by the project manager and recommended for approval. Motion. I make a motion we approve pay application number one for the AWAS project. I'll second that. For the discussion. It's it. Uh, can you guys hear me all right? This is Garrett Jacobs yeah. with Bold to Make. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Project just kicked off. Uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, the existing AWAS facility has uh, been taken down. The proposed site is being prepared. The uh, the access road out there, they've got that all shaped up and it's ready to be installed yet this week. Um, and then a bulk of the project cost has to do with the uh, 
um, the actual equipment itself. So once the site is set up, we'll just be uh, waiting on the delivery of that and the final installation. So it's in its infancy, but it's moving along. Right. The discussion. Roll call, please. Falling. Yes. Waller. Yes. Shelly. Yes. Shot. Yes. Klein. Yes. Okay, item G. Approval of pay application number 16 to runway 1432, relocation phase two, amount of $27,948.80 to Manats Inc. Uh, and uh, it's uh, been reviewed and signed up by project manager and for recommended for approval. Motion, please. Motion to approve item G. Approval of pay application number 16 for the runway. 1432 relocation phase two. I'll second that. Okay, discussion. Garrett? Yeah, uh, Garrett again. Um, I think pay application for phase two covered mostly electrical items. Uh, the phase three pay application covers electrical items and then masquerading, uh, maybe a couple other small things. Um, gen in general, for both of these items, uh, the project is in full swing again. We are, or we have paved the two lanes, two 25 foot wide lanes of the remaining 1500 foot long run or runway extension. Uh, the 4,000 foot and the major taxiways were paved last year. Uh, you know, hopefully this rain that's ongoing currently, I don't know what it did over there in Perry, but hopefully that doesn't impact schedule very much. They were slated and are slated yet to pave the remainder of the runway uh, on Thursday. And then next uh, next Monday, we will close the existing runway for the week in order to pave the connecting taxiway tie-ins to that existing runway pavement edge. Um, and then we'll be rocking and rolling. Things should continue to move forward from there, but the pavement is the major item um, that needed to get done next. So, yeah. and Have we met Garrett yet? The city council met Garrett? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Roll call, please. Shelly? Yes. Klein? Yes. Lawler? Yes. Yes, Sean? Absolutely. Okay. Item H, approval of pay application number 12 for the runway 1432 relocation phase three. It's amount of $114,059.54 to Monats Inc. Um, for the work of grading, as just discussed, in electrical. It's been signed off and recommended for approval. I have a motion, please. I make a motion we approve pay application number 12 for the runway 1432 relocation phase three. I'll second that. Okay. We need any further discussion? Each other. Okay. Roll call. Wally? Yes. Waller? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Shot? Yes. Fine? Yes. Okay, item of new business, the resolution supporting Raccoon River Pet Rescue Spay and Neuter Program in Perry. Um, I just need to mention that being mayor, I am on the board of the Raccoon River Pet Rescue. So, but since I don't vote, there should be no conflict on this. But um, the city is planning to give a grant to them $5,000 for pet spay neuter, um, trap and release, and only for pets brought in from the city limits. So, could I have a motion, please? I make a motion we pass a resolution supporting Raccoon River Pet Rescue Spay and Neuter Program in Perry. I'll second that. Okay. For the discussion. You want to say anything, Joyce? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have to say our gratitude. Um, we hit four years in operation in May, I think it was, so next year will be our fifth. But from the very beginning, the biggest thing we wanted was to run a spay neuter clinic. And it's been a, um, a lot of um, conversation at our board meetings, trying to figure out how there's a shortage of veterinarians and to get one to come in and to do a clinic for us. It's just, it was impossible. So um, finally, because Panora Pets is going out of business, a veterinarian that serviced them is now helping us. And We've had two of them. They've been full to what we consider full for that day, like 17 maybe cats, um, spay neuters. 
and then um, we're you know we're we're doing them once a month right now. We'll probably be able to do more, but we wanted to get our feet you know on the ground and understand the process, and it's going great. So we know we desperately need it here in town. So we are over the moon that you guys provided this for us to work with. So we're you know it'll support the clinic. We're not just sure yet exactly how, but. Obviously, we pay a vet to come do this. So, and we do charge the people, but it, you know, rarely can we get our costs back. So, um, we will help people. We we want to get this under control. <laughs> so, thank you all. How often are you running the clinics? Right now, once a month. I think we did May, June, and July. We just did June and July, I think. So, but we're already booked for I know like at least the next one. We've always so far been booked into the next month completely. So and these are mostly feral cats that you're working no, with or they no, not pets? necessarily. Uh uh they're they're people's pets that they want to take to a low cost spay neuter clinic. So we've had some of both. Um yeah, we've we've been thrilled with the response. People are appreciating it. So yeah. yeah. Thank you all for considering that, doing it, and making it happen. And Susie's on our board as well, so it's been great. When she told us, I think we about all fell out of our chairs. Mm -hmm. So we were we're very excited. And we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great service. Any further discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Wally. Yes. Smaller. Yes. Yes. Shot. Yes. yes. Fine. Yes. Okay, any other business anyone would like to discuss or talk about? If not, we will adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Well, thank you. Thanks. It's a good one for being hot one. Yes. Quick. Yes. Quick. Yes. Yeah. Spend it. Spend so much.